rapper, nigga, it's me, I'm him, I'm not them, I'm him Jones, I'm, I'm him Duncan, I will beat a nigga ass and stomp him in my hemberlands. I Listen, allegations are allegations, I don't know if this is true or not, but according to the internet, T.D. Jakes is trending, and so I had to go find out why, right, and when I found out why, I had to get on the video. Some of this I haven't even heard the whole thing because I want my genuine reaction with you as we cover the news because I generally don't do gossip. But some of this seems so crazy because it allegedly came out in court. All alleged, T.D. Jakes might be the greatest man to ever live and this is all the slander his another black man name. Or it could be absolutely true and it's hilarious regardless. Let's go over the story because apparently T.D. Jakes might be a power bottom. I'm gonna let the, I'm gonna let it find out why TD is TD Jakes trending. Cassie Kim Porter burner phone claims erupts on TikTok sparks disbelief. Let's go into the story. This America's most prominent pastor TD Jakes began trending on the internet on December twenty first, twenty twenty three, after a TikToker made a certain shocking claim regarding the Christian pastor. On December twenty first, a TikTok video from the user Maisha surfaced on X, formerly Twitter, alleging that R&B singer Cassie Ventura has supposedly handed over evidence to the FBI incriminating Diddy a month after she filed a lawsuit accusing him of heinous acts of violence during the decade-long relationship. Okay, so it's about Diddy, T.D. Jake, Cassie. We got, a, we, got, we got the story forming for us, right? And why this happened and why... We still don't got how T.D. Jake's involved, but we're going we gonna to get into it. We're going to get into it. Again, all of this is alleged made up by some streamer named Maisha, who is here. I have no clue if she's like legit, but we finna listen to what she says. All the allegations, by the way, if true, insane. We about to let me put the headphones on. Let's 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 let's, let's dive into this together. You know what I mean? Let's let's dive into this me and you together. Like the color part. Me and you together. Let's go. All right anything this is allegedly ain't nobody gonna catch me slipping okay okay so allegedly cassie has turned over evidence to the feds yes to the feds she has turned over videotapes a usb drive and kim porter's burner phone now there is also an alleged email out saying a plethora of other things that include td jakes with diddy i'm gonna let y'all listen to it i'm not gonna say nothing else okay so so she used alleged a lot. Again, this is just gossip, random gossip on the internet, but it's intriguing to me because I often know how pastors and people act. So again, we set the story. Now we see how T.D. Jake's involved. Let's go watch the rest of the video because I don't, we transforming content here. I want y'all to, we, we getting the story together, me and you together on what these allegations are. And apparently the FBI involved, so it could, is news technically? It's gossip. It's gossip. We, we doing gossip. We doing, we doing one gossip segment. Because I want to know what happened with TDJ. Because I didn't listen to it all. Let's, let's listen. Here, yo, bro, Cassie has turned over substantial amounts of evidence to the feds. I'm told that after Cassie had a long conversation with Blank, I have to protect this person. They're going through a lot right now. And her lawyers, she finally was convinced to give up the videotapes and audio recordings that contain footage of S parties and other private gatherings that feature some pretty powerful and prominent people. And get this, she even gave up a burner phone and USBs that belong to Kim Porter with incriminating evidence against Diddy. How did she get Kim Porter burner phone? Again, listen, black men under attack. I don't know how I feel about any of this. Listen, I don't know if it's true or not, but again, it does it does kind of feel like just black men just being under attack like that. And I got a whole spill on that that I might go over on my ZMA channel soon, but it does, it, it does feel a little bit like it's just attack. Because how did she get Kim Porter's burner phone? This seems a little sus. But we're going to continue with the gossip. I'm told that there are a slew of artists, politicians, and entertainers that are about to be exposed and arrested for H10. I'm paraphrasing there, okay? Mm -hmm. H10. I'm told that Cassie's husband played a significant role in getting Cassie to turn over the evidence. It's to my understanding that Cassie felt that by exposing the truth, it would also make her look like a filthy more. And I'm paraphrasing there because some of the videos she turned in, it shows her getting number one on number one. OK, guys, I'm paraphrasing again and committing more disgusting acts that she was forced to do. I'm also told that multiple male escorts corroborated the fact that T.D. Jakes have slept with multiple men at Diddy's parties and abroad, and they refer to him as being a power bottom. Wow. 
What? 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 Did he? Yo. That's a big, that's a big man. And he being a power bottom is crazy. Being him being a power bottom is crazy. Listen, listen. I have this sound just just look like some gossip from somebody just made up some on TikTok and YouTube. Let's just be honest. That's what it seemed like. Just somebody just made up some gossip on YouTube and TikTok and everybody was bored. So we just bring in TD Jakes in because it's easy because Diddy's involved. So it's always easy just to give credence to all kind of crazy parties. Even though we know Cassie openly admitted that Diddy made her do some strange things, which makes this case very interesting, right? Because Diddy and Cassie... Did he just a wild boy? Let's just let's listen to the rest of this video. It's also been said that a young male has acquired a lawyer to represent him as he is set to sue Jakes for an incident that took place when he was just years old. It's been said that the young man was forced to perform sloppy toppy. And I'm paraphrasing here, guys. You can actually put two and two together to understand what I'm trying. I ain't gonna lie, a lot of these stories that we hear about this, these gossip stories, all sound the same. They all sound similar, right? It's the same like little plot twist that they all have, like, oh my god. They with the kids, you know, all these celebrities, and they all with Jeffrey Epstein, and they, you know that's coming out. All the same thing over and over again. It get kind of sus because everybody had the same story. Then you wonder if it's, if it's actually true, like with all of them actually like that. Because you don't really know these people. So you can't, like, you don't live with them. You don't know nothing about them. You just live in this life every day. But let's, act, let's see, let's see. Trying to say, oh. it's been said that the man's family were members of the Potter's House, but left the church in 2015. According to multiple church insiders, the parents were paid off to keep quiet. The guy's a grown man mm. now and is seeking his own justice. It's been said that the young man doesn't even deal with his parents even to this day because they took hush money. According to Pastor Blank, and I have to protect this pastor, Bishop Jakes is about to get railroaded and all of his dirt will be exposed. That's why the bishop has quietly lawyered up. He sees his fall from grace coming. Mm, just don't look good for nobody and when i say nobody i mean nobody hollywood is being turned upside down jeffrey epstein's list is going to come out if this is actually true this list is going to come out and we already know td jakes is caught up with the other shit allegedly being the person that is um messing with christian keys everybody's saying it's either allegedly td jakes or allegedly tyler perry it's either one of them but Oh my God, if this is true, buckle up. Because next year, 2024, y'all better get y'all bingo cards out because it's going to get real. Listen, listen, again, this is just gossip. This, this random gossip. Let's just be truthful. I don't know. It'll come out soon. And I'm reporting on it, of course, because this is mine. I'm, listen, I got, a little, I, got a little, I got a little sapphire for a certain group of wealthy individuals who are social activists and pastors who use their power to get certain things and wants of life and not really be for God, I got a little beef with you. Which, this might be the lead up. This might be our Avengers 1 to our end game. This is all alleged though. So this might this just might just be a blemish on the thing. A gossip section that Zell may just want to go over for I'll be that new and hint at something that maybe it's, that is happening worldwide. I just want to be honest with you. It's happening. But Maybe it's true. Maybe it comes out more and more. And then I got to start to set a few fires burning. A lot of y'all getting tricked and manipulated by powerful people. And it's just how it is. T.D. Jakes is you up next, my guy. Is Zell got that, does Zell got that energy for you? I just need to know. I don't know if it's true or not. But if it is true, the fire coming, my guy. The fire coming. Classic Rubes and Zell. Like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell for 2024. <laughs> Y'all seen the improvement in me, Ruby, and the whole show? 2024. We got heat coming. Like and subscribe. I'm telling you one more time. Hit that notification bell. No more warnings. Classic Rubes, Zell. I'm a, a power bottom though. You're attacking your mind. The nigga is me. I'm him. I'm not them. I'm him, Jones. I'm I'm him, Duncan. I will beat a nigga ass and stomp him in my hemorrhoids. I 